Robert, we're here at the Neen Park Academy training ground and it's, uh, it's exciting times for the football club. I mean, tell us a little bit about it, the building in the background, what is it? Well, it's the new, um, the new part of the, the pavilion which will house our youth team and first team changing facility. Um, we're also going to be putting in officials changing rooms, there's going to be the staff um, and the manager's office will be located down here as well as the physio treatment room and then hopefully in time we'll be developing a nicer 16s area but the key essential part for me is the is the heart of the building the middle area which is going to um, obviously house our four education suites that we'll be using to educate our players further um, and develop their, their overall education knowledge and, and also match analysis stuff. How important do you think this is for the football club? Because I mean, for as long as I can remember, the, the players have always been based at the football club. Uh, the, the development of Neen Academy has obviously seen some fantastic pitches and, you know, they got use out of them last season. But now with the, the building and people now moving to the facilities here, how important is that moving forward for the football club? Well, it's a big step forward for, for the players and for the staff because of the amount of time that we can spend on the training ground, uh, working with the players individually as a team, um, just really to get the best out of them. And that's what we're all here to do. We want to develop, um, develop the players. Um, obviously, we're going to go for a big push to win the league this year. Um, so to have these facilities all on site is going to be a, a massive bonus for, for the staff and the players when they return from pre-season. So how did all how did all this come about? Because I know we've, we've formed a very close relationship with the school here. How, how has all this come about? Yeah, we've developed a partnership, a really strong partnership with Neen Park Academy. Um, and the partnership is working ever so, ever so well. Um, we have our under 14s, 15s and 16s full time at the school now. Um, obviously our under 18s are going to be educated at the school. Um, next season in the education uh, in the education centre, which will form part of our training ground, um, and we've developed it, and we've developed the training ground in time. Um, that's what we've needed to do, and we're all happy with with where it's at at the minute. But to have the building now is going to be a real big boost for us at the start of the season when we come back in. Yeah, at the moment it looks uh, very derelict, and uh, well, it's a building site, isn't it? What, what's the the time frame from this, and what, when do you expect the turn around to progress? Well we're looking to get into it for pre-season. Um, the work Seafold Engineering have been magnificent in the work that they've done. They've got um, the work underway straight away for us and the important thing is is their deadline is the um, is the 14th of July which they're telling me that they'll be handing the, the building over to us operationally so as we can get straight in and uh, if we get that then Listen, pre-season gets really exciting and the, uh, and the work that we'll do in preparation for next season. As academy manager here at Peterborough United, how, how is this uh, developing your role and how excited are you by this? Because obviously, you know, as, as I said previously, you know, you've been used to being based at the, at the football club, going to and forth. And, you know, you've not really had a project like this, but to have a project like this on your doorstep now that you're more or less in charge of, how exciting is that for you to develop your role? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the main thing for us is the more contact time we can have with the players, the more we can improve them, whether that's in the classroom, in the education centre, whether that's out on the grass or whether it's in the gym that's based here um, or just overall talking to them tactically and them learning more about the game. The more contact time we have with them the better. And with us all being based on the same site and the same site as the first team which is which is key to, to the club in general and for our young players to see that environment. Um, it's going to be um, it's going to be massively exciting just to be able to get more and more time um, to develop and, uh, and produce ultimately better players with a better chance of playing first team football here at the club.